Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nick Toma. I'm Candace Kelly. From your local election headquarters, the race for a U.S. Senate seat in Pennsylvania is intensifying as candidates crisscross the Commonwealth seeking voter support. And today, Republican Dave McCormick, one of seven candidates seeking the GOP nomination, was campaigning in central Pennsylvania. 2822, Eyewitness News I team reporter Annie Mahalshik has more now from today's campaign stop. Dave McCormick's first stop was the Country Creamery near Sealands Grove in Snyder County. He talked with residents about his priorities, which include supporting Pennsylvania agriculture, an industry hard hit by the COVID-19 pandemic and the war in Ukraine. McCormick says he supports the policies put forth by former President Donald Trump and says he's a true conservative. I asked him about the recent endorsement the former president gave to Mehmet Oz. Oz and McCormick are neck and neck at the top of recent polls. Many political observers say a Trump endorsement could be the deciding factor in who will win the GOP nomination. What's your take on Mr. Oz getting the endorsement? Yeah, listen, um, I mean, Donald Trump is very popular in Pennsylvania. If you look around my family farm, which is uh, between Bloomsburg and Danville, there's more Trump signs today than there was in 2020. And so he's very popular and for good reason. He's had a set of policies, the America First agenda, that helped the country and helped Pennsylvania. So uh, there's no doubt that, uh, that he's popular and that his endorsement matters. The problem is Mehmet Oz isn't popular. <laughs> so Mehmet Oz does not connect to the people of Pennsylvania the same way because his policies are not in line with an America First agenda. McCormick toured strong industries in Northumberland County. Strong manufactures hot tubs and employs about 700 people. A big part of McCormick's campaign focuses on bringing back high paying manufacturing jobs to Pennsylvania. Listen, I think small businesses, whether it's farming businesses, which, you know, 50,000 farms in Pennsylvania is so critical to Pennsylvania's economy, or small, small businesses like the Creamery here, or small manufacturers, they're the heart of Pennsylvania's uh, economy, they're the heart of job creation, and they're, and they're really feeling pressure. Wade Spicer owns Strong Industries. I'm not 100% Sure, I agree with the direction of the country, and um, I do think Dave, from what I know of Dave, is, has a good message. The campaign day ended with a rally at the Frosty Valley Resort near Danville in Montour County. Former U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo endorsed McCormick. Well, it's always important that we get the most conservative, most capable, effective leader, and Dave is definitely that. I've known Dave for decades. Uh, he will be great for Pennsylvania, great for America. He is truly battle tested. He's, he's authentic, he's real. And based on the large turnout for this McCormick rally, it's a good bet that this race will intensify even further as we get closer to the May 17th primary election. Reporting from your local election headquarters near Danville, Andy Mahalshi, 2822 Eyewitness News. And four candidates are vying for that Democratic nomination.